In this video, I will explain how to use the forward difference, backward difference, and central difference formulas to numerically approximate a derivative. So let's jump right into an example. This says approximate the derivative of f of x equals x squared at the point x equals 4 using a step size of 0 0.1. So one way to approximate this derivative is by using the forward difference formula, which says f prime of x, so at the specific x value you're interested in, is approximately equal to f of x plus h, where h is the step size that you've decided to use, minus f of x divided by h, the step size. So let's see how to use this formula in this case. We'll say f d for forward difference is equal to, we have f prime of the x value that we're interested in is 4. So we'll say f prime of 4 is approximately equal to, we have f of x plus h. So x is 4 and h is 0 0.1 in this case. Remember, that's the step size. So 4 plus 0 0.1 is 4.1. So we'll say f of 4.1 minus f of, for x, in this case, we said that will be x equals 4. So we'll say f of 4 divided by the step size h, which is 0 0.1. So we'll say 0 0.1. So this is approximately equal to, if we evaluate f at the value 4.1, in other words, we plug in a 4.1 into this formula for x, we get 4.1 squared. So we'll say 4.1 squared minus f of 4 says plug in a 4 for x into this equation. So that would be 4 squared. So we'll say 4 squared divided by 0 0.1. So 4.1 squared, that turns out to be about 16.81 minus 4 squared is 16 divided by 0 0.1. And when you punch this into a calculator, it comes out to 8.1. So using the forward difference formula, we estimate that the derivative of this function at an x value of 4 is equal to 8.1. Now let's check out how to use the other difference formula. So let's try the backward difference formula. So I'll abbreviate that as BD, backwards difference. So that says f prime at 4 is approximately equal to, we have f of x. So remember our x value we chose is 4. So this is f of 4 minus we have f of x minus h. So that would be 4 minus, remember h is the step size, which is 0 0.1. So 4 minus 0 0.1 is 3.9. So we have f of 3.9 divided by the step size is 0 0.1. We have f of 4, so again that says plug in a 4 right here, so that's 4 squared minus f of 3.9, so that says plug in a 3.9 for x, so that would be 3.9 squared and then we divide by the step size again. So this comes out to 4 squared is 16 minus 3.9 squared. That turns out to be 15.21 divided by 0 0.1. And when you punch this into a calculator, it comes out to 7.9. So using the backward difference formula, we estimate that the derivative of this function at an x value of 4 is 7.9. Now let's try our last formula, the central difference formula. So I'll go ahead and write CD for central difference. This says the derivative at a value of 4 is approximately equal to, we have f of x plus h, so that would be 4 plus 0 0.1, which is 4.1, f of 4.1, minus, we have f of x minus h, so that's 4 minus 0 0.1, which is 3.9, so f of 3.9 and we divide by 2 times the step size. So the step size is 0 0.1, so 2 times that is 0 0.2. So we'll write 0 0.2. So we have already calculated the value of f of 4.1. We saw that was 16.81. So let's go ahead and write 16.81 minus, we've also evaluated f of 3.9, which we saw was 15.21. So let's go ahead and write that, 15.21 divided by 0 0.2. So in the numerator, this simplifies to 1.6, and in the denominator we have 0 0.2. So 1.6 divided by 0 0.2, that comes out to exactly 8. So under the central difference formula, we estimate that the derivative of f of x at an x value of 4 is equal to 8. Now for this particular example, it's pretty easy to calculate the derivative of this function. So f prime of x, that would just be 2x. So the actual derivative at an x value of 4, in other words, f prime of 4, would be 2 times 4, which is 8. 
So in this case, we can see that all three methods gave a pretty close answer. The central difference formula actually gave the exact answer, but that is the general idea of how to use the forward difference, backward difference, and central difference formulas to numerically approximate a derivative.